In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect OpenAI's Agent Builder to N8N using N8N's MCP. This is something that connects the two platforms together so that if you have automations or agents on N8N, or if you want to connect to over 500 tools using N8N, you can do so while building out your agents on Agent Builder, embedding them in your websites using ChatKit and so on. So without further ado, let's connect OpenAI's Agent Builder to N8N and build out a couple of example agents. Now about eight days from the release of this video, I am launching an entire course on OpenAI's new Agent Builder. If you want 50% off to that course, then sign up for the wait list and we will get you that early bird 50% off coupon. This course is going to be revolutionary. So use the link in the description in the top pinned comment to sign up and enter your email and then save the date for October 17th because we are releasing our new course curriculum on this platform in specific. And this platform I'm telling you is going to change the game for agents. So let's connect it to N8N real quick. I'm going to open up the agent builder and here you can create a workflow just like you can in any other automation tool. I'll select create. And then it's going to open up our canvas. And there's a couple of different ways that you can contact a workflow uh, from N8N or that you can contact your N8N server. The main thing that you wanna understand is that we're going to be doing this by invoking a model context protocol tool. And so if I just select this node out here, we won't be using this node in specific for my first example, but what this allows you to do is in the upper right hand corner, when you're selected on that node, you can select the add button and then you can add your own server. And here we can connect to N8N via N8N's MCP tool. And it will allow us to run our workflows from the agent builder. It will give us access to well over 500 tools that N8N gives you access to. So it connects these two agent building softwares with each other. If you're not familiar with N8N, it is a tool that's been around since 2019 and people have been building agents like this on it for a long time. So if I sign into my account, what you're going to notice is I've got loads of agents in here. I've been building agents in here for a long time. So if I click into here, you can see that we have little workflows in here. This one gets a YouTube transcript for me. And that's the example that we're going to be showing you today. But this is N8N, if you weren't familiar with it. You can access a bunch of different tools. If I select action in an app, as you can see, they have all of these different tools that you can connect to out of the box. And so we can use this functionality in Agent Builder, and we do that by adding an MCP server. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that node out of my canvas, and we're just going to start in the AI Agent node. So I'll click into the AI Agent node, and then I can give this agent a name. Since we're going to be pulling in YouTube transcripts from this N8N workflow, I'm just going to call this YouTube transcript agent because I want it to use N8N to help me receive those transcripts. And next I can give some instructions. So I can open up that prompt box and I can just say, you are a YouTube transcript agent. You will receive YouTube video URLs from the user and your job is to use the N8N MCP tool, which is what we will label it in the future and send the URL in order to receive the transcript. So over here on N8N, I'll actually just save this and we'll come back to this later. I just wanna show you the N8N side of things. So on N8N, I have this workflow that gets video details and gets YouTube transcripts all from a URL. And so in order to connect to N8N, what you wanna do is in the upper right-hand corner, you wanna hit create workflow, and then you want to add a first step. This first step is going to be the MCP trigger tool. So I'll type in MCP, as you can see, you get to expose N8N tools as an MCP server endpoint, which is going to allow us to connect it to Agent Builder. So I'll select that node right there. I will change the path real quick. You can call it really anything you want. I'll just call it N8N underscore tool. I won't do authentication right now. First, I want to click out of this MCP server trigger, and then I want to add some tools. So these are the tools that you can give Agent Builder access to. As you can see, I can call an N8N workflow, an entirely new N8N workflow. It could be as big as you'd like. You can call that from Agent Builder. Your tools are the things that Agent Builder is going to be able to use. You're just hosting them on N8N because of N8N's uh, robust amount of automations and agents and apps they provide you. I'll show you a quick example with just calling my other N8N workflow. So if I select call N8N workflow tool, I'll just name this like get underscore transcript. And then I will give it a description of call this tool 
to get a YouTube transcript from a YouTube video URL. And so now it knows what to do. You can just give a natural language description. And now I can select a workflow. So that workflow that I'm going to be using is the get transcript from YT. And as you can see, we have the input here, which is going to be the URL. So I'll let the model define this and say the URL of the YouTube video. So now when our agent over here contacts that MCP server, it's going to send the URL to the query in our MCP tool. And this is what allows us to connect to tools. We just have this one big node over here that just can call different things for us from our agent builder. So now let's actually connect this thing. In order to connect it, that was just the workflow that I was using. Uh, but in order to connect your MCP server from N8N, this thing right here, what you need to do is go to the production URL and then copy your MCP URL, click off, make this workflow active in the upper right hand corner, and then it will automatically save for you. And then I can go back to Agent Builder. And what you wanna do in Agent Builder is you want to go to where it says Tools in your agent. So if I click into my agent and go to Tools and hit this plus button, I can connect to an MCP server. So I'll select the hosted MCP server. And then I'm going to add one. Since OpenAI doesn't add it out of the gate, what I can do is I can add a server. And then I can paste in that URL that we copied that URL from our MCP server trigger right here, except make sure you copy the production URL since we have an active workflow. And then I will just label this, whatever I labeled my tool and my instructions. So I labeled it, as you can see over in the upper right-hand corner, N8N underscore MCP underscore tool. That's not completely necessary. I just like keeping all of my tools in line when building agents. And then you can give it a description. This is just optional. Call this to get YouTube transcripts. For authentication, this is where you could add in your key that you set up in N8N or your custom header that you set up in N8N in order to have it be a little bit more secure. Pretty simple to do. For now, I'll hit none, so I'm going to delete this. And then I'm going to select connect. And then it's going to establish that connection with our tool over on N8N. And this is going to give us access to everything um, that we connect to it. So as you can see right now, all we have is the get underscore transcript tool over on Agent Builder, because that's all we have right here is our get underscore transcript tool. So now let's test this agent. I'm going to go down and try to find something that AI wouldn't know out of the gate, just something that I said in the video. Maybe the real reason AI feels threatening, it's not job loss. Let's grab this YouTube video URL. And then over here, since we have this all set up with the instructions, our MCP tool, what I'll do is I'll hit preview and I'll just say, give me the summary of this video transcript and key points. And then I'll paste in that URL and send it off. And then it will be running for us. And as you can see, since I made it approve every time, I have to approve this request in the chat. You could set it to, it doesn't have to approve, but it's a little less secure that way. So I'll approve this to contact my N8N workflow. And if I go to N8N and go to my executions, it says no executions found right now on my MCP server trigger, but that's because I haven't approved it yet. So when I approve it, what's going to happen is it's going to actually use my MCP and if I go back here, an execution should start any second now. I'm going to give the page a refresh. As you can see, that execution succeeded. It went down, got my transcript. And if I click into this right here, I can view the sub execution and I can watch how it passed that video URL through. So the automation ran, succeeded in 2.9 seconds, very fast. And so if we go back to Agent Builder, it gives me the summary. And the only way it got the summary is because it had to get the transcript from my N8N workflow. It says this video argues that the anxiety people feel about AI isn't mainly about job loss, it's about a threatened self-image tied to a specific role. And then it goes over my core ideas, gives away my entire worksheet for identity reinvention, and then my four week plan. So that was just showing you how to connect to one tool, but you can literally connect to any tool you want. I'll close the preview. I'll go back to N8N. If I hit this plus button, I could type in Google. I could add a Google Calendar tool. I could let the model define start. I could let the model define end. I could add a field for summary, and I could let the model define that. This will be the name of the event. 
Let's say I want my agent to be able to contact my NADN MCP server and create events in my calendar. I could select my calendar and then save. I could go back to the agent builder, make a couple of new instructions. I can say, you also can add events for me. Then I can say, all you need is start date, end date, and name of event. And then I can save that. I could go to my MCP tool and then we could give it access to create an event in Google Calendar because since we added that tool, it'll update live. Any tool that we add in here, any app that we wanna make a change in using our agent builder, we'll have to go back and we'll actually have to select this little check mark in order to make it active. And so I can update that. And now if I preview, not only can I paste in video URLs and get transcripts and summaries from them, but I could say things like, create me an event for tomorrow at 6 p.m. for a three mile run. I'll send that off. And even though I named it the YouTube transcript agent, it can now do much more than that since we're connected to the N8N MCP. Makes me approve this request, I will approve. And then the YouTube transcript agent will go to work in creating me an event for Google Calendar. It says, all set, I've created your event. If we go check Google Calendar, I have a test calendar for things like this. As you can see, it says three mile run tomorrow, 6 p.m. and it's all ready to go. You could set it up with attendees. You could set it up with literally anything. Now, you wouldn't wanna to connect to Google Calendar on this MCP because Agent Builder has a native Google Calendar MCP. So if I just throw this in real quick, you can add Google Calendar right in here and it probably makes it easier and better rather than having to go through another application to get to that. So don't add tools in N8N that you can easily use here. But what I like doing is I like using full workflows in N8N like I did for the get transcript because I've got full agents or workflows in N8N that I've been using that I would like this agent to have access to, even if it uses it as a tool, just to get a little bit of information to send back to it. For instance, I have this sponsorship responder so that if a sponsorship comes in for my channel, I have a whole filtration system that it goes through, searches the company, enriches the company. I built this on N8N, and let's just say I wanted to connect it to my agent builder. Well, I could do so with my N8N MCP tool. And keep in mind, you can use any of these tools. If you have a Notion account, for instance, you can select this Notion tool and do all sorts of things. You can create pages, you can create databases, search your databases, you can do whatever you'd like. If you have an Airtable account, you could do the same. You could create records, update records, do literally whatever you want. You could connect your email to this. You could connect literally anything under the sun, especially with N8N. Now, Agent Builder has a lot of out of the box things, like I said, with their MCP, but N8N allows you to expand the reach and tools you have access to. So I hope you enjoyed and you learned a lot when it comes to connecting N8N to Agent Builder using the MCP integration. Now, once again, I will leave our wait list for our AI Agent Builder course in the description and the top pinned comment below. Make sure that you sign up with your first name, your email, and tell us what do you want to learn Agent Builder for so we can help gear the future content after the launch towards your needs. We're going to teach you how to build the agents, how to deploy the agents, how to optimize the agents using all of OpenAI's agent building features. You are going to be learning from myself and my brother who have been making successful course curriculums for years now. And furthermore, it's going to give you the ability to get certified and get a signed document from both Carter and I who are well-known names in the agent building space. So make sure you go sign up to get that 50% off. It's the only time we're going to do that. And I hope to see you on the list. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe. I would highly appreciate it. Hit the bell notification so you'd never miss an upcoming upload. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.